Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from FreeGameMan.com, and this next Q&A video is about cleaning your keyboard and mouse and how often you should do it. Before I get into this Q&A video, remember, if you want to post a comment, head on over to 3 dgameman.com. Also note that you can post anonymously. Now, this is what I use, and I have found it most effective over the years. I use 99% isopropyl alcohol, half that with distilled water, put it in a spray bottle, spray onto the cloth. I use microfiber cloths. Do not spray directly on the keyboard. You do not want to short something out. So spray on the cloth like so. Then wipe down the keyboard. Make sure you get all the keys and you know every surface that you are touching or someone else is touching. How often should you do it? You should do it at least once a day. If you're at work, do it more often. I would do it, you know, religiously at work because if you're at work, more than likely other people are probably touching your keyboard. You know what? A keyboard is dirtier than your toilet. It is disgusting what is on this, like I say, especially if it is in a work environment and there are other people touching your keyboard. You don't know their washroom habits. You don't know what they're up to. There are things on this keyboard, bodily fluids, that you would not want to even imagine. Like I say, if you're in an environment that you're not familiar with, like, for example, uh, even uh, internet cafes or anywhere, you know, it's disgusting. You almost want to put this in your bag with a cloth and wipe down the keyboards. If you go out somewhere else using someone else's keyboard, it is disgusting. Or at least keep, try and remember to wash your hands after you see using someone else's keyboard. I don't want to freak you out or nothing, but keyboards are extremely dirty. Not so much, you know, your own keyboard. You kind of know what you have yourself. It's not a big deal, but still clean it every now and then. Also use an air compressor or something to blow all the dust out of it before you actually, uh, you know, wipe it down, that kind of stuff. Same thing goes for your mouse. If you are in a public place, do it once a day. If you're at home, do it once a week or whenever it is, after all, your own filth. So again, what I use is 99% isopropyl alcohol and water. Half and half, put it in a spray bottle, you're off to the races. Don't go out and spend your hard-earned money on this prepared crap you find in bottles at stores that have some kind of Super duper keyboard cleaner will clean your keyboard fast and furious. Don't buy that crap, it's 10 times as much. Another option is instead of buying isopropyl alcohol, buy vinegar. You know, use vinegar instead. Same, um, you know, percent, half vinegar, half water, work the same way, really. And remember, this not only goes for your keyboard and mouse, this goes for every single peripheral. Anything that hands are touching, like controllers, whatever, it doesn't matter, even touch screens, anything fingers are touching is going to be very dirty. Remember, peripherals are dirtier than toilets, believe it or not. There are all kinds of bodily fluids on them. Let's put it this way. Some of them you would not want to be touching. Hope it didn't gross you out too much. And I hope this answered your question. Remember, if you have a question for me, Head on over to 3dgameman.com. Also note that you can post anonymously. I'm going to clean my keyboard now, I think. Maybe you should do the same.